It's very important at the beginning of every day's practice session that we do a good warm up. This will mean that your lips are nice and ready to go for whatever you have to practice that day. You'll find you have more stamina and more success on the trumpet. I always start the day with just a, a few buzzes on the mouthpiece. <coughs> I might buzz for two or three minutes, buzz some high notes, buzz some low notes, just to get everything moving. Don't forget that the better your buzz, the better your tone will be on the trumpet, so it's worth practicing it every day. After you've done your buzzing exercises, we should move on to some long notes. For the long notes I want to do with you, we're going to do crescendos and diminuendos. That means we're going to be getting louder and then quieter again. As well as warming the lips up, this practices your breath control, which is a very important aspect of trumpet playing. So look at the exercise number one on the warm-up section of your PDF and you'll see that we have, starting on bottom C, a crescendo over four beats to forte, which means loud, and then a diminuendo or getting quieter to piano over another four beats and repeat that twice. Let me demonstrate. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Make sure that you keep your embouchure very fixed during your crescendo and diminuendo, particularly at the end. Make sure as you go quieter that the tone and the pitch doesn't sag. Then carry on the exercise with D, then E, etc, etc, as you see written in the PDF. That should take you three or four minutes. The next exercise we're going to be working upwards in intervals and then downwards in intervals. Look at exercise two on the sheet and I'll demonstrate it here. The next exercise is what we call a lip slur. We're not using the vowels to change notes, we're just using the embouchure. So you can liken it to lifting and releasing a dumbbell, lifting and releasing a dumbbell. So we'll start on open vowels, C to G and back again. Then we move down, second vowel, first vowel, one and two, two and three, one and three, and finally, the lowest note on the instrument, one, two, and three. You'll see the sequence written on your PDF. <laughs> etc etc you might find it difficult at the start to be aiming for the very very bottom notes so don't worry if you only manage the first two or three parts of the exercise by the time you've finished all of those exercises you should be nicely warmed up and ready for your day's practice